Oh. Oh my word. Do you guys hear that giraffe? Billy Currington's house. There's Christy. And here's That's me with the fish. beautiful. This fish is a giant. Oh yeah. What is happening, everybody? <laughs> Christy and I, we just pulled in to the most beautiful, beautiful town in America, Savannah, Georgia. Christy and I, we are down here on a mission. Here, we're gonna do some shrimping, some fishing, hopefully some trout and some redfish. It's gonna be everything on the menu from big old shrimp to redfish. It's gonna be amazing. Super, super excited. All right, babe, you ready to go catch some trout or some fish? <laughs> yeah, let's stop doing the tourist thing. We got to get down to the boat dock. Sure, you don't want to do a little Forrest Gump reenactment on one of these park benches or anything. I don't know. I need a box of chocolates first. That's right. <laughs> Sean says that this is Billy Currington's house right here. Billy Currington, the country music singer. God is great. Bear is good. Billy Currington, please give us some redfish off of your dock. That would be lovely. All right, y'all. Here's what we're doing: rigging up our shrimp right behind the brain. And the hard part, just like that, make sure our shrimp stays alive and on the hook. There he is. Oh yeah, that's a good one. All right, y'all. Yeah. All right, y'all. Hooked up on a good one. Dang. That was within like. Yeah. I think so, yeah. Yeah, let's get the net. Dang, that was within like 10 seconds. That's probably a slot red. Yeah. Nice. It's a slot red. Jeff with the beautiful redfish. Dang, this guy might be too good to not keep. All right, you guys, the mid afternoon bite has turned on, and y'all, check it out. Jeff just got on an awesome slot red. You guys, this, uh, Let's see, let's get this hook out. Dang, he was barely hooked. Such a pretty redfish, Jeff. Nice work. That's perfect. Perfect that size. Spot. Dang. That is why we traveled all this time to come down here to Savannah, Georgia. To Billy to Currington's pick. house. <laughs> exactly, right to Billy Currington's house. So, that's right. That's so how country cool. boys roll, right there. Shout out to Billy Currington. That's one of the songs, by the way. Did you know that? <laughs> Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Are you going to sing it for us? No, Everybody wants to hear you sing. But yeah, so anyways, you guys, we're going to throw this fish into the cooler. And that's going to make some great fish for our low country broil action that we're going to be making for y'all. But yeah, so anyways, you guys, these docks, um, fishing like in low country from Wilmington down through Savannah, Georgia, Jacksonville. But really with these tides that swing really high up and down, Sean's about to be on right here. There Dang. he is. Dang! Yeah, he's on. That is a good fish right there, y'all. Nice job, dude. Oh. Well, that's an overslot red. <laughs> nice catch, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's wow. a nice one. All right, y'all. So, Sean just pulled out a massive overslot red fish. Fish in the bottom. So, right here, we're fishing this nice floating dock, which retains a lot of the heat um, in colder weather. Oh man, there we go. All right, y'all. I think we just got into a nice school of reds or something. Woo! All right, I need the net. Please. Yeah? That's a slot. All right, y'all. There's Billy Currington's house. And There's Christy. Here's That's me with the fish. beautiful little keeper red that we're going to be harvesting. Y'all, we've been fishing Billy Currington's dock out here, which is awesome. I wish he'd come out. Captain and play Sean Yeckley, right here. Yes. Captain Sean just caught him a nice one. He did, y'all. He caught an over slot red. Well, I think we're on to him. At the end of this dock, we've got deeper drop off, like 15 feet. So fish in the bottom. And it's the second little red, my first cast. So nice we came job. here for it. on some live shrimp, y'all. Blondie with the blondie. Oh my gosh, wow. babe! <laughs> oh my gosh, that's got to be like upper slot. What do you think? No, it's right at 20. Can you grab the, the net? Please and thank you. Wow. Wow, my drag? Yeah, I'm filming. Wow, you guys, this dock is really pretty small. A lot of these reds, big old school of reds. Woo! Oh my gosh. 
work. All right, babe. Here. Oh, that's a black trim. Keeper. Black trim. That's a keeper. Yeah. Oh yeah. Keeper like black drum. Wow. Christy got herself a black drum. Wow, so beautiful. Keeper black drum. Just drumming away. Really pretty fish right here. We are into a school of redfish, black drum. The stack is just producing tons of different species out here. And live shrimp, y'all. This is what you guys can be catching on some live shrimp action. Everything. So, yep, literally everything. Sean, what are these? So these fish will just like, that's what they'll do is use these docks as protection, right? Yeah, they hang around the pilings because they eat a little crab. Black drum can even crush up like barnacles and oysters. All right, Christy's doing her Hollywood thing. <laughs> I'm gonna catch me some more fish. There's a fish. That's a good one. That's a good one. Let me tighten my drag. All right, y'all. Dang. Let me tighten my drag a little bit more. <laughs> this fish is a giant. Oh, he's working me. What the heck is this thing? It's probably a black drum. It's kind of staying down like a black. What if it's that big flounder? It's that black drum. It's a good sized fish right there. It's kind of. Whew. All right, y'all, this has probably been one of the coolest docks we've ever fished down south um, here in Savannah, Georgia. It is going off right now in November. Y'all check out this beautiful black drum Jeff just got on. Thank you, Mr. Billy Carrington, <laughs> for letting us catch fish on your dock yeah, yeah. and providing uh, our YouTube viewers with excellent content. So thank you, Billy Carrington. Our viewers really appreciate you. <laughs> So does this black drum. Yes, um, but if you would come out and sing for us, that would be that would be a okay with me. All right, y'all. This black drum is definitely going in the cooler because this is like perfect eating size, and these fish are so fun to catch. Dang. Nice work. Look how big that guy is. Jeez, y'all, look at this classic fish that we are catching. There. Alrighty. See how many I can get on a hook. It's party time, y'all. That is gonna be a fish. I know, but I know, but we'll catch a red fish. Let me catch two more big reds, or one more big one. Oh, oh my word! You guys hear that drag? Woo! All right, there we go. Getting work done. What do y'all think it is? Hopefully it's a red. Big old redfish. Y'all, this is what it's all about here in Savannah, Georgia. Fishing November time, getting on these slot reds, black drum. Oh my gosh, this guy's working me. Even the small pups pull really good. Uh -huh. Whew. Oh my gosh. No, she, she said shut oh up! Oh my gosh! Y'all just got on a great sheep's head. <laughs> what? What? Wow. Dude! Captain Sean Yuki. More than a grand slam. Wow. This dock is absolutely loaded. Sean, you haven't. This is not one of your like honey holes, is it? Holy moly. Like, I mean, not really. Like, you just. I've only been here one other time. One other time. You guys, that's what happens when y'all come out. Savannah, Georgia, Tight Lines Charters, Captain Sean Yeckley. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you guys, we came here oh, for some is. redfish, but we just hit the Savannah Slam. Look at Grand this beautiful slam. sheep's head, little convict fish. And this is probably my PB sheep's head. Look at this fish. Look at those, Look at those crushers. Things. Oh my gosh. Y'all, he tore up my jig head. I mean, like, can never use it again. Bent that thing in half. Gave me a run for my money. Whew, that was a blast. We thought that was a big redfish. <laughs> I did, I thought it was like an overslot red and then I pulled this guy out and I was like, what? No way. Wow. This is crazy. So, boom. There it is. We're making it happen, y'all. Dock fishing. Dock boom. fishing with some live shrimp. Nice job. Thank you, thank you. Shout out. <laughs> Dude, killing yes. it, man. Definitely need to. Look at this hook. All right, you guys, check out this hook. 
from that sheep's head. It tore it up. I can't even use that jig head anymore. Oh my gosh. Look at that thing. Where are you at? Just right to the left of you. Directly to the left. There's a fish right there. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh yeah. Dang. There's a whole bunch of redfish on this dock, you guys. This is awesome. Dang. My favorite fish in the ocean to catch right here, y'all. That's a good size red. This guy's thumping. Dang, that's a good size red. I need to loosen my drag here. Whoa, that's a big one. I had oh, my drag. Big black drum. Is it? Nice. That is a good size black drum. Dude, my drag was locked all the way down. <laughs> all right, y'all. So this was not a red. This was actually a nice size black drum. This is like the perfect size to eat. But these black drum, they, you can hear him. He's actually like drumming. But um, these black drum, they fight so good. And we get these a lot in the Chesapeake Bay on our bridge, but these guys hang out on all these docks down here in low country. And would you say, Sean, so they're just feeding right up on the pilings, right? Right. Sweet. That's a perfect size to eat, but we're gonna, we're gonna let this guy go. And we've, we've uh, got a nice cooler full, but dang, that's a nice, that is a stud of a black drum. That is awesome. Sweet. All right, dude, thanks for the fight. All right, you guys, that was an amazing, amazing trip. Oh my gosh, I am so stoked. I wanna show you guys how diversified this cooler is. This is crazy how much fish that we caught. So we've got sheep's head, redfish, black drum, flounder, trout. Another black drum right there. Y'all, we were even throwing fish back. That was amazing. So I wanna give a special shout out, first and foremost, to Billy Currington for letting me catch fish off of your dock. I'm just kidding. We did catch all these other fish, so I've got friends and family coming over tonight. We're gonna prepare all this food. I'm gonna show you all this amazing recipe. Anytime you keep a fish on ice for any longer than overnight, it's gonna develop that slime. So I just like to wipe it down. So today for this recipe for our redfish, black drum, and sheep's head, we are going to be grilling these fish. This is going to be super, super yummy. Not a lot of people like to grill fish. I don't know, they just get a little intimidated grilling fish. Uh, everybody likes to either fry them, bake them, or just pan sear them. But today I'm gonna show y'all a little something different. I'm gonna show y'all how to make these fish insanely tasty better than restaurant quality, and y'all can do this right at your home. Super, super easy. All right, here we go. All right, y'all, so the first thing that I like to do is take my fillets and just rinse them under some cool water, making sure that I'm getting off all the loose scales. Because we're cooking these fish on the half shell, they are gonna have some of the scales on it, but I wanna just run my hand against the grain, just like this. So this is like the smooth side. I'm gonna run it on the rough side, just make sure that I have all the loose scales off of my fish. And I'm just gonna rinse all these fillets just like this. All right, y'all, it's kinda dark outside, so I'm going to show y'all how to do this in the light. And so I've got my grill on right here, got our fish, and what we're gonna do is we are gonna use some aluminum foil. We got some aluminum foil sheets right here, and we're gonna spray this down with some nonstick spray. And then we're gonna lay out our fish. So this is our sheep's head right here. What else do we got? Red drum, let's try and keep these together. Sheep's head and black drum right here. Okay, uh, we're just gonna take a lemon and we're gonna squeeze some fresh lemon on our fish. Then we're gonna take just our seasonings. So I've got some garlic powder. We're gonna do some oregano leaves, do a little bit of cayenne pepper, just for a little bit of spice to it. Do some pepper. Last but not least, Old Bay. Can't ever go wrong with Old Bay. And we're gonna go pretty liberally on the Old Bay. All right, actually you guys, we're gonna do one more piece of foil 
because when you cook your fish, the beauty of grilling your fish and using foil is you can actually, this is the black drum. So let's go ahead, because what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna use the foil, we're gonna kinda wrap it in the fish to retain more heat. To top it all off, you wanna put some olive oil on your fish. That's gonna give it a very nice texture and that's gonna also let it hold some of that flavor. This right here, people, is how you make bomb grilled fish. Put it right on the grill, folding the foil over top of it, just like that. That's how you grill fish right there. Give this about, I don't know, we're gonna check our fish periodically, probably about five, seven minutes or so. This fish will be good to go. All right, y'all, it's been cooking for about 10 minutes. About, what is that, 400? That's the temp that we're cooking our fish at. It's been about, I don't know, 10 to 12 minutes. And these fish, they about ready. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna transfer these fish from the grill into our pan right here and then meet y'all upstairs. We're gonna do a little taste test and show y'all what we're working with. All right, you guys, so this fish is ready to be taste tested. And you guys, I'm super excited. I got my parents coming over tonight and we're gonna cook this fish. Got my mom hanging out in the family room. Mama Anderson right there. Yeah, uh, yeah that's right. <laughs> that's my mom, y'all. Love her very much. Love this, and love this. that's love right. Mom. And you guys, here it is. So this is our fish. Let's get a close up. This right here, this is our black drum. Ma, you want to come over here and check this out? Oh, yeah. All right. I'm going to get my mom to do the taste test. Oh, All right. So smells. this right here is our grilled fishy. You want to oh do the taste test? Oh, my gosh. That's the black drum. All right. And it's piping hot. This is the way I love it. Oh my gosh, restaurant, Anderson's, yay, <laughs> yum. <laughs> All right, let's though. get a close up on this yum. right here. You guys, this ah. right there. All right, y'all, so there it is. This is our black drum right here. So you guys just wrap it up in your foil, put it on the grill, you cannot go wrong. You guys, this is amazing. Last but not least, this is our sheep head right here. That's what I caught, y'all, my little four pounder. Yes. Yep. Looks amazing. Yes, so this is our sheep head filet. So anyways, you guys, there it is. This is our grilled fish and super excited to enjoy this meal with my family. You guys, get up off your butt. Go catch yourself some fish. This That's fall. right, y'all. <laughs> there we go, there we go. There's my dad. We're here to eat. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. So we're gonna go ahead and enjoy this great meal with my family. And you guys, thanks for watching. Peace out.